Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'Allah, Kuholoyim La Yahwa, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say for water toward the Aki Menachwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Shachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And. This is in the Business Times. Global Kremlin justifies massive military buildup, citing Western threats and instability. Moscow poised to surpass U.S. in combat troops. And they pretty much, they, they've surpassed um, America when it comes to the amount of men that they have, you know, ready for combat, so to speak. Because America's not getting any um, recruits like that, you know, nobody... These kids just want to sit on the couch, man. They have their Cheetos, man. Shit, they, they Mountain Dew, play their video games with their damn headset on while, you know, ignoring their damn mama. <laughs> uh, asking them to take the trash out. They, they, these these Americans, man, are through. This, this new generation of Americans, as far as men, young fighting age men, if you got to send them, you might as well not send nobody. <laughs> for real, for real. I mean, if you're going to put them on a joystick and fly some drones, they'll be able to help you with that. They are good with video games. But as far as some combat, combat, hell no. They're not going to, they, they, you know, you know it's bad when they you have to change the requirements to just get people to, um and you know, pretty much enlist into the, the military. You know, they, they, they've gotten rid of a lot of restrictions. You used to have to be greatly in shape. You used to have to pass the, um, you know, certain tests. Certain things that you would have to do. And, and and at one point at time, this country, the so-called white man, if he failed that basic training, he would try his goddamn hardest to get back there again. Because it was a shame pretty much for a, a, a so-called white man to not join the military and, and, and fight for their country. That That's always that you can see that in the movies. That's always been that way. It, it was a shame for a young man to come up in a family. And not want to fight for their, their side of whoever they're fighting for in this country. One movie that um that, that gives an illustration like that is uh this movie with um Mel Gibson, The Patriot. He had young sons. his one son, his oldest son, he just completely disobeyed his dad. He was like, damn, you ain't gonna even act me. He's like, nope. Because he had been waiting. He was waiting, waiting, waiting. Then you had the next son that was underneath him that wasn't old enough to go. You know, he was ready to rock. But his dad, you know, of course, you know, Mel Gibson playing the dad was like, well, okay, give it another year. But he's ready to go already. Those little kids, you know what I'm saying? The other two sons that he had with him, he had some daughters and stuff as well in that movie. But, you know, the the the, the, the movie setting was how patriotic those young men were about joining the military to fight for their country. And America doesn't have that. Okay, but let's get a little bit of the article. We'll grab a couple of scriptures and um, pray that it's edifying, man. Russian um, pre President Vladimir Putin has ordered a significant expansion of the Russian military, increasing its ranks by 180,000 troops. That's a pretty, pretty nice expansion. This expansion, which will bring the total number of active service men to 1.5 million, positions Russia as the second largest military force in the world, trailing only China. I think China got like 2 million people in their military. The decision comes amid escalating tensions along Russia's western and eastern borders, prompting the Kremlin to bolster its military capabilities. This is due to the number of threats that exist to our country along the perimeter of our borders, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said during the conference call with reporters. He highlighted the extreme hostile environment on Russian western's front, coupled with growing instability to the east as the primary reason for the expansion. The move reflects Moscow's heightened concern over security threats from NATO's eastern expansion and potential U.S. military activities in Asia. So really, that's the reason, the real reason they're doing it because of that, you know, the NATO shit. You know what I'm saying? With these damn westerns, westerners, these damn Americans. Esau Edom, that, 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 you know, this man loves war. According to data from the International Institute of Strategic Studies, this increase, this increase will elevate Russia above both the United States and India in terms of active combat personnel. And India got uh, over a billion people too. 
and their inner population. I'm surprised their military is not bigger. The expansion marks the third time Putin has ordered an increase in troop numbers since the onset of the war in Ukraine in February 2020, 2022. So pretty much what this is what this is um, I'm going to do is since America is not meeting their recruitment goals, they're going to do what? There's been talks of it. They're going to get the drafted, man. <laughs> they're going to get the draft and you niggas, whether you want to go or not, they'll whip you in shape. They'll get you right. And, and, you know, over in Ukraine, I think they call them on the body snatchers. Where over in Ukraine, hey, they just rolling up on military. Hey, they don't give a shit how old you are. If your ass can walk and you you appear to be able to hold a rifle. They'll snatch your ass right out of your car at a damn stoplight and throw you into the back of a van and take you straight to the front line. There's videos on that, man. They snatching up whoever can, who, who's ever in fighting condition. And I remember when all that stuff started to break out, it was people trying to run. It was a lot of, see, a lot of those Russians, a lot of those people over there as well, they don't want to fight. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't have that umph, that, 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 you know, that blood thirsty umph to, 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 to destroy like how, you know, the older school Edomites used to be their fathers, grandfathers. And a lot of these fathers and grandfathers, they don't even want their children to go to the military like how they went because they know it's some bullshit. Right. So we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Let me get that real quick, because this is exactly what he's going to do. And 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 you know who he's go, who, who he's going for. He's shooting for first. He's going to shoot for you Negroes, especially you so-called blacks. You you you, you so-called black young men. They're going to be gunning for your asses to um, join this military. And they push a lot of their commercials. Now, if you notice these commercials, they're pushing those commercials on you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native American women, men and women. Men and women. No woman's supposed to even join, supposed to be joining no damn military, man. They even got, um, what's that I seen? I think it was yesterday. The U.S., I think they got the first co-ed submarine. Like, you got men and women on a fucking submarine. What do you think is about to get done, bro, other than some, 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 some hunching? We used to call it hunching back in the days. You know what I'm talking about. What do you think is about to be going on? Those women gonna have to pop some some goddamn um, pregnancy pills, some uh, 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 <laughs> some some um to just not get pregnant, man. There's gonna be some popping going on on there, and probably possibly um um you know some some you know uh, uh, damn diseases if they get up off of those submarines in certain places and get out into those um you know um you know those weekends off. You know what I'm talking about? They get the weekend off. They get to go out into town and. And party, have some drinks. They're going to meet up and they're going to get with somebody. They're going to get their ass or something. They're going to get back on that goddamn boat, basically, and give it to each other. And you're going to have a, a, a boat full of disease written, you know, abortions going on. Man, what? Just confusion, bro. Let's get that one, though. We was talking about 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that this man is going to pull a draft. And who he's going to draft, he's going to draft you Israelites first. He's going to put you on the front line. What well, you going to join this man's military for? You don't know why you're going. You have no idea why you're going other than to explore the world and, 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 and possibly uh, get a house when you get back, you know, um, uh, to get a paid education. That's no reason to be going. You can do all that shit here. They got programs. All you got to do is just go ahead and just get you a damn job and work. You're going to go into student debt anyway. It don't make no difference. Even with them, you're going to go into student debt. They're only going to pay for a certain portion of something. You might be able to come out of there as a specialist um, if you spend a, a whatever amount of years in, in their military. But still, it's like, what are you going for? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that ought to be some shit. That, that, that ought to be taboo. It ought to be weird seeing that nigga, that nigga, that nigga in the military. <laughs> That's how it should be, man. <laughs> as soon as you see somebody look like, is that a, that a black guy? That nigga got on a military suit? This nigga walking through the airport. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First thing you're supposed to be like, hold on. You're supposed to be taking snaps. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like that shit supposed to, should be like a, 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 a. Seeing a real angel or something like, what the fuck going on? Is this nigga, you serious? This nigga in the military? That's how you should be looking at that silly shit. You shouldn't ever join no military of this man, man. That should be unheard of. 
they shouldn't even be coming at you with that. But guess what? They slipped the bullshit on you, got you thinking that you're a damn American, man, and you're not. This says the latest military buildup comes as Russian forces continue to engage in fierce battles across 1,000 kilometers, 627 mile front line in eastern Ukraine, where they are attempting to push back Ukrainian forces and, and secure territories, including parts of Russia's cursed region. The Kremlin has made it clear that these restrictions or these actions, Salakia, that these actions are necessary to secure Russia's borders and to protect its national interests. Andrei Kartopolov, chairman of Russia's lower house and parliament defense committee, provided additional insight into the rationale behind the expansion. He emphasized the need to establish new military structures. So they building some shit up pretty much um, some some spots to, to set the missiles to set the missiles up. To, 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 to splatter you goddamn U.S. Americans, man. You United States Americans. So goddamn proud to be Americans. <laughs> it says, um, particularly following Finland's recent asc ascension to NATO. So, you know, Finland, yeah, they joined not long ago. So, and that's too close to Russia. They like, man, fuck that. This development has added a new dimension to the security challenges facing Russia, further justifying the need for a larger army. The Kremlin concerns are not limited to Europe. Russia has also voiced apprehensions over what it perceives as the increasing U.S.-backed militarization of Japan and the potential deployment of American missiles in the region. See? So they setting up that this is what it's for. They're going to need somebody to build those spots to set up for those missiles and somebody to um pretty much, you know, uh, guard that shit. That's pretty much overall what it is. It's not that they're going to be uh, uh, necessarily going to you know boots on the ground type of fighting or whatever, even though they they will defend if something were to happen. That's mainly to pretty much build up structure for these um and and have a, a military presence or um security over their missiles and shit, man. Getting ready to launch on y'all asses because this is what America's doing. Why you think America is so in bed with Japan or they love Japan so much? To begin with, they wanted that island because that island is strategic. It's a strategic location in the earth where they can pretty much get to wherever they need to get to, you know, as far as fueling um, jets in the sky and doing all this different stuff. It's a strategic spot. See, the, see Esau, the scripture talks about um, Esau. Matter of fact, let me get, get it. Esau is, is um, wiser than Daniel. This motherfucker searches out everything. There's nothing this, some, this, this guy don't know. He's the guy that can give you the weather till next year. <laughs> like straight up. You can go on the damn uh, weather channel and be looking like, damn, how the fuck they know all that? Because Esau searches out stuff. Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. And that's for the Russians as well. The Russians are Edomites too. I think they're just a little more smarter and they're a lot more braver than these Edomites here in America. That's all. But they're the same. They're from the, they cut from the same cloth. You know, just just different values, because these these American ones don't give a fuck about nothing, man. In Babylon, the great anything goes here. Anything goes here. You can be a, you can you can be a you can be whatever you want to be. You can be a, a goddamn trash truck. You can be the trash can if you want. You can be a plastic bottle. <laughs> you, you can be a recycled can. You can be whatever you want to be here, man. You know, you can just a dog, cat, tree, leaf. You name it, man. This place is through. These damn Americas is is, is, is the ones that's done messed up the earth mostly as, as far as all the Edomites. Let me see what else they got in here. Yep, it says the Kremlin's concerns are not limited to Europe. Russia has also voiced apprehension over what it perceives as the increasing U.S.-backed militarization of Japan and the potential deployment of American missiles in the region. That's why they're doing it. These factors contribute to the broader strategy behind the military expansion as Moscow seeks to fortify its position on, on multiple fronts. And you got to realize, too, that's, uh, you know, um, North Korea and, and, and Russia, they're getting down now. Russia, uh, North Korea is supplying Russia with some shit to, to fuck up some of these Ukrainians. They they in bed on, on on weapon making, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you know they they got a a pack now. I forgot what their agreement is called, but 
North Korea is right there where Japan is at damn near. So it's going to be all out World War Three. Man, that third woe, let's get that real quick. That third woe is soon to come. Revelation 13 and 14, it says the second woe is past and behold, the third woe comes quickly. See, that third woe is the third world's war. It's coming quick, man. And the Lord is about to set um, these, these, these people up to, to get what's coming, man. And a matter of fact, let's get this one, too. Uh, what is it? Uh, nope, that's not the one. Um, is it 21? Let's see, Proverbs 21, I think it is. Yeah, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So these kings are what we see today as your local or, or your, you know, modern day presidents, your prime ministers, your, um, you know, the ones that's running the situation. You can even go as far as saying a governor here in America is a king. That's just over states. You can even say like a state senator or something like that, you know, but it's somebody that's in rulership. But all those people that are in these positions you know, from Kim Jong Un of North Korea to um, Xi Pinching or whatever the hell his name of China, you got um, the Taiwanese president. You got all these different leaders all over the all over the world. You even got these women leaders and shit like that. But the Lord is the one that's turning their hearts. He's in that word heart goes off into um, mind, lab or lab in the Hebrew. It, it goes. It, it, it means your mind, not your pumping heart in your chest. So the Lord is dealing with these people, man. As a matter of fact, um, um, actually, when you go into the book of Job, the Lord is programming these, these men to do what they're doing. Job 33. And this is how we know that free will, there's no such thing as free will. Job 33, let's start at verse 15. It says, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. <laughs> you can call the Lord cold, bro, that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide man from um from um high pride from man. See? That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So he anything that you thinking on trying to do that, you know, scriptures actually says that you can make plans, but it's really on the Lord as to whether or not they go down. Roughly paraphrasing. You might be you know, it's plenty of people that got up. Or shit, motherfuckers had plans since last year for for today. Probably was ready to go, you know, leave out, go on vacation or whatever, go here or go there. They make these plans and then all of a sudden something happens and it and they have to change those plans up because it's out of their control. That's how you know nobody has um free will. So the Lord is dealing with these leaders, man. So it goes on to say. However, the ambitious scale of this military expansion raises questions about about its feasibility. Dara Masakot, a Russian military expert at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, expressed a skepticism about Moscow's ability to sustain such a large standing force. There are ways to staff a standing 1.5 million force, but the Kremlin would not like them if they are truly grappling with what that requires. Masakot wrote on X. She, see, here you go. The scripture says that a woman shouldn't be usurping authority over the man. She's supposed to be silent. Keep your goddamn mouth closed. What? Of course you don't see it because you're a damn woman. I'm sure this man know what he's doing. Or the Lord, it don't make no difference. The Lord is, is operating with him anyway. Let's get this though. Always got some goddamn woman out here. You know what I'm saying? Giving her opinion as if she's the, and then she's, the, she, she's supposedly an expert. First Timothy 2 and 11, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. When I suffer not a woman to teach nor, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Hey, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> you, you, you the expert. Let's see what, let, let's just see what she has to say, though, because obviously, let, never mind. Anyway. She highlighted the financial and logistical challenges involved particularly in terms of defense budget allocation and the need to balance procurement with the increased personnel costs. Maxicott also pointed out 
that the Kremlin might have to consider expanding the draft or allowing more women to serve in the military to achieve his goals. Well, he can just do a draft because you fucking women need to stay at home. All these men, before they get drafted, as usual, like it's always been just before a war, they need to get their wives pregnant. Every single, there should be, it should be within the law <laughs> that you hit your wife. Now, if you can't have no, no, no babies, that's something different if your ass barren. But in the meanwhile, each one of those 100 and f 100, uh, 1 million point five, 1 point five million men, you know, should be impregnating their wife. If they don't have no goddamn wife, they need to be setting their asses up with somebody to get with before they go off to war and pumping their asses up. That way, at least you'll have some um, some citizens to replace the men that are going to be killed. <laughs> but that's generally just what men done anyway in the ancient days. You know what I'm saying? You, you know. You had time to spend with your family and generally, hey, you, you, hey, you know, men and women, you know, they, they loved each other a little bit more back then. I will put it that way. Women really loved their men back then, so to speak. Wasn't the bullshit you got going on today. This bitch cheating before you go and she getting pregnant by somebody else while your ass on the road anyway. <laughs> you come back and, 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 and sneak up on her like how you see some of these videos and she's, <gasps> where did you, when did you get home? some nigga in the back room anyway she goes on to say look for signs that this is this is a real initiative to recruit and expand and not a kind of show to intimidate others she cautioned adding that while the current volunteer recruitment methods have been somewhat effective it has also shown signs of strain Okay. Well, that was pretty much about it. We might as well get this paragraph too. This ex this expansion follows previous increases ordered by Putin in 2022, where he initially added 137,000 troops and later 170,000. Slot. Additionally, Russia mobilized over 300,000 soldiers in the controversial campaign in september and october 2022 which led to the widespread protests and mass exodus of draft aged men from the country yes some of the motherfuckers are trying to run despite these previous mobilizations the kremlin has stated that no new drafts are currently planned opting instead to continue relying on volunteers to fight in ukraine but they ain't really got no problems i'm um, um, getting no um volunteers man they, they 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 going for it they, they they you know they about their country so to speak at least better than these clowns here in the Americas. Okay, so let's go into this Matthew real quick. Let's see what Yahweh Shah said, man. In days prophecies, baby. The Lord said to measure thou the time diligently in itself. He said to watch and pray. And we're supposed to be watching for these types of stories, man. He said to be not ignorant in, a, in any matter, whether great or small. Because that may seem like a small matter. But when it comes to that third woe, that prophecy of the World War Three, nah, we touching on all that, baby. For real, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. And that's the true name of the son, Yahweh Shai. I like to always bring that out in my lessons because everybody don't know the name of the, the Lord. The Lord's name is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the father's name is Yahweh, which means he's the, he exists or the existing one. The Lord is not some blonde haired blue eyed white guy. And his name is not no damn Jesus, man. The letter J didn't even exist back then. The letter J is only 500 years old. So if the Lord walked the earth 2000 years ago, do the math. The letter J was invented in 1524. There was no there, there was no English being spoken back then. So these translations that they done, you have to go back to the original names, man. You can't just be like, well, today his name is what well, shit. Your name changed since yesterday. Your name changed since last year or have you had the same name since your birth? <laughs> Come on, let's do let's let's be real here. And it's important to call on the right names because the name is important. The scripture says that the Lord's name is a strong tower. 
There's a name that you have to go, that you have to call on just to get to the father. So the father and the son's name are, 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 are important. You out here praying for white Jesus, praying to white Jesus, you know, praying to some, well, some imaginary white God. That shit is idol worship, man. Anyway, let's move on. Verse four. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And, that, and that's one of, one of them, them, them gods, or, um, you know, one of them fake-ass, idolatrous gods is, is white Jesus. You know, people coming in the name of white Jesus, they know full well, you know, what a lot of these preachers don't. Some of these people just don't know, because they don't do no research. They don't even look into it. They don't even consider. And then once you break it down to them and tell them, they just like, oh, it doesn't matter. He knows who I'm talking to. All right, you get to call on somebody Steve and his name is Joe. He's going to be looking at you like, who the fuck are you talking to? Anyway, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars. This is the point. You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And see, we just be seeing little stories like this when we hear them. But just imagine on a day-to-day -day basis, it's people that's dedicated to doing that shit 24 hours a day clock around, man. Barely even sleeping. Some of these generals are barely sleeping. They're constantly ready to make a decision on something that's got to do, to do with this, this new world shit that's going on, man. They're constantly monitoring this person setting up over here. This person setting up over there. They're constantly watching satellites. They're constantly looking. And so, in the meanwhile, you watching your motherfucking Bengals game. You know, or, or damn New York Giants game or some stupid ass uh, 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 TV show. And these people are, are sitting around on, on, on a day-to-day -day basis getting three, four hours of sleep. Constantly um, um, watching. So, if they're watching, the scripture says to watch and pray. Don't you think we should be watching too? Come on, bro. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're not troubled by hearing these things. We're actually happy. Like, go ahead and pick up the pace and get this shit popping. But we know that um, um, that MOTB got to be coming too. That mark of the beauty and the beast. That implant. Because that implant comes before this World War Three, prophecy-wise. And they already talking about this digital currency, fucking um, real IDs and... You're not going to be able to go here without this. And you know what I'm saying? And, and it, we can clearly see that there's a payment system that's coming through on a digital scale that these people want to fucking put shit in you, man. So you can move about in society. You're not going to be able to communicate, go to um, certain places um, be able to damn sure not going to be able to go and buy no food, shop or no water. They're going to cut your goddamn water off. They're going to cut your heating off in your house. They're going to pretty much starve you out, man, to make you try and come and get this shit. So we have to be completely prepared, you know, um, by the spirit. And, and the only way we can get prepared by the spirit is through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and stand in these scriptures, man. Because the scripture says that this wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. It's going to be these words, man. It's going to be the Holy Spirit bringing things back to your remembrance. The Lord said this. The Lord said he's going to take care. The Lord said he's going to handle. The Lord said, don't worry. The Lord said, have no fear. In the meanwhile, everybody else is going to be fucking panicking, bro. The scriptures actually talk about us, us laughing at, at this shit. I pray that I'm one of them people, man. But verse 7, it says, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And there are, um, are, shit, there was a couple of earthquakes in California this week to go along with all those goddamn wildfires they got going on. And we do know that the scripture says that um, um, the Lord created spirits for vengeance. And one of those spirits of vengeance is fire. Another one is death. Right? So the Lord got mass judgment going out throughout the earth, man. Well, let's get one more. Let's go into the Apocrypha and grab this one up. Damn it, we gotta stay alert. You can you can get bored if you want to and get have, get those fucking itching ears and get out here and get to listening to these clowns with this entertainment. Uh, uh the the call it the entertainment Israelites. You always constantly want to entertain your ass and you wanting to be entertained. You better stick to the basics, man. Stick to this milk. 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting into the deeper prophecies because these are deeper prophecies. But, you know, our people, they 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 love to be entertained, man. They, they oh, such and such, such and such was fighting such and such. You know, motherfucker throw a little clickbait out there and and, and people, they, they, they run with it, man. They don't want to be like that. I was so lucky I didn't want to, um, I want to, um, second address. Second address, chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So this is a, com a commandment, man, from the Lord. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then, sh then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will, be give will begin to visit the world which he made. So we understand. We starting to see these things. We understand, okay, this thing is coming to pass. The Lord is starting to make a, a work of work right now. We're not that far from this next prophecy. We're not that far from this next prophecy. Then after that, we, you know, and then it's pretty much, you know, we, we pretty much knowing that we're at the end of this thing. I mean, we're at the end of this thing now, pretty much. Verse three, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that shit happening all over the world, it's earthquakes going on on a day to day basis. And all these people are coming up against their governments. Uproars of the people. People, you can see it in America. Look at some of these, 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 um, these Trump rallies, and some of these, um, these protests and all this other shit. Everybody is up in arms about some shit. Everybody uncomfortable, you know, going through something. Barely can afford to live, man. They're miserable. So it's gonna, it's uproars that's coming from that. Look at Trump. This motherfucker supposedly second um assassination attempt. What do you think these so-called white people that really believe in this guy, man, that think that he's the great white hope that's going to bring their country back to what they stole to begin with? What do you think they're going to do? That's going to bring uproars of the people. These people are ready to go. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these motherfuckers don't don't take a, 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 a you know, a, a good old uh, chance at uh, your girl Kamala. You get one of these clowns out here. I'm tired of them trying to kill. I'm trying to kill my president. And one of these motherfuckers set up shop at one of her goddamn rallies. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you just never know. You fuck around and let, let, let another attempt go down. Or or even with this one, it's still... Hey, these people, I'm telling you, I work with these people. I see, I, I'm peeping them today. You know? I was peeping them yesterday. Like, you know, hey, they, they, they got things on their mind. <laughs> hey, they, hey, I be walking through the building. Motherfuckers got American flags at their cubicles. They be playing God Bless America in the morning. One guy on his computer, he got a big ass speaker. He be playing God bless uh man. I'm like, God damn. It's hey, serious, man. I just be grabbing my little coffee. I go to the little cafeteria. I can hear that shit blaring. Grab my little coffee and shit, man. I go back out to my vehicle, man. I don't even want to be around him. Verse four. Then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things. From the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So now we understand. We see. And I pray that the Lord don't take the spirit off me to keep to not be seeing. I want to I want to know what exactly what's going on. But. The Lord got to be dealing with you in the spirit because. He's telling you to watch and pray. He's telling you to to measure thou the time diligently. He just said this is the very first thing that he's saying. He says he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. So we're seeing the things come to pass. Then shalt thou understand. So now we understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to, to visit the world which he made. And those are the beginning of sorrows. See? So this thing is going down, man. Everything is, is it's getting, it's crunch time. The game is about to begin. All the practicing that we've been putting in, we're going to be thrown into the game and, and hold up, you know, and play our positions, man. And pray that we, we, we play them right. That we're strengthened in the spirit, man. You've been fucking around. You ain't been hitting the weights. You know, you've been slacking on the sprinting. You've been slacking on your jogging. You've been slacking on, you know, um, 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 learning the plays and shit. And get out on the field and shit and get to catching cramps. No, we don't want to be like that, man. We want to be um, 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 spiritually battle ready when it's time to get down out here, man. To be able to go through what we need to go through, man. Anyway, I'm going to end out there because, hey, it's getting close. This this, this shit is not going to continue like that, man, much, much more longer, man. You know what I'm saying? Before uh, 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 
Because the Lord going to place it on these on these people's minds soon to go ahead and get down. And it's all heading into that direction over there with the um the Gaza shit. Gaza, Israel, um that Hezbollah the Hezbollah shit, Iran, all that stuff that's going on over there. Hey, that's all a part of end days prophecies, man. You see? So I'm gonna end out there, man. I pretty the lesson was edifying with that Kwam Yashal and the Baba Ball. Keep on praying, praying for the downfall of this place. Shalom.